Hey, what's going on? It's Sai here. So today's topics is a little bit special because we are going to talk about digital currency. We know it's a really trending topic nowadays. Everyone's talking about, hey, you should invest in digital currency, uh, maybe Bitcoin, maybe other things, right? So I want to talk about why I don't invest in Bitcoin personally and what's the only one digital asset I think you should invest in, right? So first thing first, let's talk about currency. What is currency, right? So if you think about you, the dollars on your hand or the bitcoins, they're actually the same. They have no intrinsic value up in Excel, right? So um, the, uh, if you think about all the cash you own, it's just nothing but a piece of paper, right? So why do you want to exchange your valuable iPhone or your valuable computer with this piece of paper? It's because you believe that for some reason, you can get something more from this piece of paper. So if, if someone pay you this money and you, you, get, you exchange your iPhone with this money, for some reason, you can use that to get something else. And that's the reason why people use the paper currency, right? So the entire currency system is built upon the trust that for some reason, you can get something else using this piece of paper, right? So the paper itself has no value. You cannot use this paper to build a machine. You cannot eat this paper. You cannot use this paper uh, to get a girlfriend, right? Oh, you, oh, you need to you know this this piece of paper itself has no value and the entire uh, currency system is uh, is built upon this kind of illusion that they believe that for some reason they can get something else from this piece of paper right and first of all, it's the same for digital currency right all digital currency is nothing but a series of number, right? So the only reason why people uh, use this number is because for some reason, they believe in that, okay, they can use this number to get something else. So why I want to talk about that. So if you read uh, Rich Dad and Poor Dad, the first chapter they talk about the riches don't work for money, right? They don't work for this piece of paper because they know that the money is not real, right? So the inflation will devalue your money over time, right? And that's the reason why he always said that the riches will invest in what we call asset, right? So what are assets? Assets are a real estate, right? So you can live in, you can rent it, right? Or um, maybe gold, because you can use gold to build other machines, or you can use that to build some jewelries, right? So oh. The asset you can see, they have some value inside. People want the asset. So even though uh, we are during a really bad time, people can still use this asset to trade something that they want, right? So during war, people will use gold, right? They will use silver. and But you won't. Like during war, the popular the money, the currency itself has no value. And that's the reason why I would say that instead of investing in currency, like buying more dollars, buying more uh, Bitcoin, buying more digital currency, try to invest in asset, try to create something has own its own value. So you don't have to invest in real asset, you can invest in digital assets. So digital assets such as uh, your own digital product, such as your own channel, right? So uh, let's talk about what are some digital assets you can create. The first one is your own media, right? So things like your own YouTube channel, your own blog, you can use that to generate traffic. And if you can have a traffic, you can try to monetize your traffic. For example, you can put an ad on your pages. Like for example, you can try to sell something on your website, right? So this is what we call digital asset. The second thing is your digital products. So things like your online course, your online training, or if you write an ebook, you can use those assets to exchange money, right? So even though people don't use, uh, for example, if nowadays uh, we have a really uh, big uh, financial like uh, evolution, people don't use dollars anymore, guess what? You can still use your digital assets to exchange other kind of currency, right? So if as long as you have this kind of digital asset, you don't have to worry about the currency, right? You don't have to worry about the up and down of the currency because you can change the price of your product all the time. 
right? Another one is your funnel. It's the process you are using to convert your traffic into your client. So things like your sales copy, things like your webinar, things like your website or your uh, VSL, video sales letter. This is what we call uh, your uh, funnel asset. So if you have this kind of asset, you can convert people from your cold traffic into a client. So those are three major assets you can invest. So instead of chasing after uh, those digital currency, I would say try to invest in digital asset because asset is something that can right now you may be wondering hey nick so how do i create my own digital asset i would say you can start from creating your own online course because by creating online course basically creating course is almost free all you need is iphone or your computer then you can create a course right you all you need to do is you get a piece of software then you can record yourself talking via the software right so creating course is really powerful and great way for you to build your passive income so if you really want to learn how to create your course you can join my course creation challenge so you can go to the course creation challenge.com to learn how you can create your course in 14 days so that is for this episode i hope you enjoyed that start Starting creating asset, not chasing after currencies. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you soon in the next episode.